Hello Ice and Fire nerds, it's Chris and we finally have a Game of Thrones Season 6 teaser that just got released a while ago. So I want to go over this really quickly. There's not a lot of information you can pull from it, but you can definitely pull a theme from it. And that theme is darkness. And I'm fucking loving it. definitely have a theme of darkness in this teaser. I mean, you're using the house of black and white. It's the place of death. It's all gray and drab and dreary. And you have the candles flickering and dead faces on the wall. And then, of course, you have this creepy whispering as they come in and pan around the room a little bit. And speaking of the whispering, I really couldn't make out anything there specifically. I think it was just there for effect. So if you guys were able to make out anything, please let me know. But what's really interesting here is it goes to the faces of characters long dead and faces of characters that are currently still alive. We go back to our original Man of Honor from season one, and it quotes the line, he said back to Bran, the man that passes the sentence should swing the sword. And then we hear Rob's voice, and it goes to Rob's face and quotes his line as he was talking to his mother, Catelyn, during the War of the Five Kings. I've won every battle, but I'm losing this war. And then speaking of Catelyn, it goes to Catelyn next. A lot of people speculated about Lady Stoneheart coming back, and this could hint at that, but I don't think we've seen anything about her being on set or anything this year. But it quotes her line when she was speaking to Rob, again, back in the War of the Five Kings, when she says, show them what it feels like to lose what they love. And then, oddly enough, it jumps over to Joffrey, our wonderful king of Westeros, who seemed to have lost his appetite after tasting the pigeon pie. And it repeats his quote when he was speaking to Tyrion when he says, Everyone is mine to torment. And then, of course, we jump over to Jon Snow, and it shows his face on the wall, and it seems to hang on his a little bit longer than the others. But he kicks off his quote when he was talking to the Wildings at Hardhome when he says, The long night is coming, and the dead come with it. And right in the middle of this quote, the camera jumps over and pans down the wall, and then we see Tyrion. So, of course, the faces previous to Tyrion were all people that are already confirmed dead long ago. But then when I saw Tyrion, I was like, oh shit, could this be foreshadowing? So as it pans out from Tyrion, we see other characters that are currently alive. That includes Danny, that includes Sansa. I believe Arya is right below Tyrion, if I'm not mistaken. It was hard to kind of make them all out. And there are also some other dead characters that were featured. For example, during the Joffrey scene, I think I saw Tywin's face beside his. I believe I saw Yeagert beside Jon's. So it's definitely foreshadowing in the sense that Valar Morghulis, all men must die. So one of the things I noticed about the overall theme of this little teaser was that it featured mostly Starks. We had John, obviously, we had Ned, we had Catelyn, we had Rob, all with famous quotes that they said in the past. If we're getting into Winds of Winter territory, that book was originally supposed to be titled A Time for Wolves. So that's telling me, in a sense, as far as this season goes, that it's time for some damn payback. It's going to be dark, it's going to be bloody. But the other thing I noticed, of course, is John is in the middle of all this. You have two real big storylines. You have the upcoming War for the Dawn, the White Walker invasion, where they're threatening to take over all of Westeros and destroy everything and bring in a winter that never ends. And, of course, you have all the politics and betrayals, etc., between the Starks and all the people in power, such as the Lannisters, and right now the Tyrells, etc. And, of course, that's a big part of our story right now. The North remembers. The Starks are coming back. Because you got to remember... Only really Rob and Ned has died so far. You still have John, who is alive. You have Arya. You have Sansa, who's still alive. You have Rickon, who's still alive in Skago somewhere, perhaps. And hopefully he'll get back in our story soon. So the Starks are still around. They're just kind of scattered. So you have that kind of political thing going on as far as war and, and the struggle for power in Westeros. But then, of course, you have the major story being the coming war for the dawn, so to speak. And John, of course, being the main character in our story, is going to be pulled in several directions right in the middle of all this. Obviously, he's going to be resurrected. I think he takes the name John Stark. So he's going to want to take part in that war for Winterfell and to get his family back together. And he's also going to still try to rally everybody behind the calls to defend the realm. But of course, that remains to be seen. But I think overall, the theme of this teaser is darkness, revenge, and John being pulled in several directions. And I think the overall theme here is it really doesn't matter about your damn politics and about who you like and what family you belong to. Everybody meets the many-faced God at one point or another who obviously represents death in our story. And in the end, Valar Margulis. Anyway, that's all I had. Just wanted to go through that trailer really quick and break down just some things I saw. So definitely let me know in the comments what you think about it. Either way, whether you got something from it or not, it's Game of Thrones footage and I'm fucking psyched about it. Anyway, got a lot more stuff coming up Game of Thrones related. I'm probably going to continue to focus on that until the season starts and I'll obviously do reviews of every episode. But in the meantime, you can click here for the last video I did on these 25 or so photos that HBO released just a couple days ago. And I talk about those and kind of guess what scenes they may be. So check that out. And you can also 
also click here on the last video I did on prophecy in our story and also go over a couple specific theories and break those down as well. So check those out. Let me know what you think and be sure to let me know in the comments below what you got out of this trailer and are you pumped about season six. Thank you guys so much for all the support. I just hit 5k subscribers and I really really appreciate it. I couldn't imagine this six or seven months ago. So be sure to subscribe to get everything. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time.